You've all located the deep speak deck. Ah, you're all pros already. Today we're going to go to the blank canvas option. So click blank canvas and go to start. I'm just going to do it on my phone as well as we go along. And then you should get to this screen. So always the cards are at the bottom. So play with it, scroll, scroll, swipe it to the left and you it should be on the shuffle side. Yeah, and you can scroll so that it shows you all the different cards so that you can browse it. So then when what you wanna do is, I want you to find the sixth card where it's called the quick guide and it says join now. Can you see it? Drag it up to the main screen because I want to show you how you can join the membership. Piedai, can you just keep a lookout on the chat box in case somebody's lost and you can flag it out for me? Okay, you got your quick guide. I want you to play with it. Pinch it to zoom out, stretch it to zoom in, move it about so that you start to feel comfortable with, in a way the screen can be quite sensitive, but then once you kind of play around with it, you'll feel you'll feel more of a connection with the app and also with the card. So get very tactile with it. So what I want you to do now is to tap on the card and you should see that the lilac border has changed to gold. And then look for the icon at the bottom that says guide. Click on guide. And you get to this page. And you'll see a button says bonus content. So if you're on a trial, it'll be interesting to, to know whether it takes you to the page to sign up for the group. So if you're on a trial and you don't get to this page, then that explains it. And uh, if you do, ah, we'll know. <laughs> so, so this is the page that you can then sign up to request membership in the DeepSpeak community group, okay? So now just come out of that by looking for an X on the top left-hand corner. If you're on your mobile, it's the same of mine, just to come out of your um, URL, and then it takes you back to the screen that has the lilac and the bonus content. Look for the return button at the bottom, and then you're back to where you are. All good? Tracy has a question, Joan. When you be in a card, does it go back to the bottom so you can pull it up again? When you've used that card, and I'll show you how to trash can it in a minute, it will then it will it will be highlighted that that card's been chosen before. So you might see a different shading at the bottom. So that's how you'll know that you've already chosen that card. I don't think I've demonstrated it on my screen, but we'll see if I can if I can do it um, as part of what I'm showing you. It might come up as we go along. You might notice it. So to choose another card, so you've got a card up already, leave that as it is. To choose another card, click the circle with the plus sign. And can you see how it comes up at the bottom? Now, this will answer your question, Tracy. As you swipe, can you see that this card that you've just viewed is of a different shade? Does that make sense? It's like it's not as it's not lit up. Anybody else can see that? Yeah. So that tells you you've already looked at that card. So to choose another card, swipe across, just pick one and drag it up. So you should now have two cards on your screen. Oops. Mm 
Okay, I didn't show it that bit there. So when you, yeah. So who has, have you all got two cards on your screen? Okay. So to get rid of one of the cards, because you want to be tidy. Let me see if I'm sure I've got a, an example of this. Oh, yes, I've kind of. So to get rid of one of the cards, because you want to be tidy, hold that card down with your finger and drag it. And when you drag it, the waste can, the trash can should light up and then just move it towards and then you'll be left with one card. Everyone still okay? So when you bin a card, does it go back to the bottom so that you can pull it up again? When you bin a card, does it go back to the bottom? Yes, it goes back to almost like, it's like you put your card back in your deck. Yeah. So the way to compare, if we maybe use a bit of comparison here, how you have all your cards at the bottom that you swipe, imagine that to be like a physical card of deck that's in a pile. Then when you pull one card out from your deck, that's the one on the screen. And if you put the other one back, it's part of the deck again. But the thing is just play, you know, play with it. And um, you'll see that there's a lot more there's a lot more things you can do to play with it. So now you've got a nice, you know, one card on there. What if you were to, oops, I need, my slides are not in the right thing. So what if you were to flip that card over? So you've got one card, it's on a shuffle side. You, can you find the button that says flip? Keep flipping because you've got five sides. <laughs> flip, 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 flip. Okay. So now we're becoming more hopefully familiar with moving around the app and knowing how to get the cards to turn, to get to the guidebook and to have the shuffle side. So we've done all that. So just notice that when it changes from lilac to gold, they have different menus at the bottom. And the way to get back to the lilac border is you tap the white screen. To get to the gold menu, you tap the card, okay? Now, it doesn't matter if you don't remember everything because you just end up tap, 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 tapping and eventually you get it. But I I felt better once I got it because after a while it can be like, how do I get to the Zoom? How do I get to the guide? Because the Zoom button is lovely because it's, you know, again, if you're a little bit OCD like I have, you want everything nice and neat. The Zoom just makes it fit the screen. Now, let's have some fun. Instead of just sticking to one card, pull as many cards as you want onto your white screen, onto your main screen. Okay, now let's try something different. You should be on your lilac screen and where you see the icon or the menu called layout, I want you to press and hold. So don't just tap, press and hold where it says layout and you should get this, correct? Well, have fun. Click the grid and see what happens. It arranges it. I haven't got a, a picture on that. And then click a mix, click a stack. Click, click, click. <laughs> so is it enjoyable to see it all arrange itself? Or is it just me? <laughs> Too much fun. I won't have time to communicate with the animals. <laughs> so you can now practice dragging it down to the trash can, pick another four or five cards, click another layout. Remember that with layout, you do have to press and hold. That was my mistake when I didn't know. I was just like tapping layout and nothing happens. But for some reason, that menu, you need to press and hold. Good fun. And then when you've got it all laid out, 
you can just choose for each card to individually be the one you worked on. So you can, you know, tap on the one card, zoom that. So then the others stay in the background and you only work on that card. So, you know, you can just spend the rest of the afternoon playing with that.